Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and in today's little dev update, I have mainly two pretty short things to mention to you. And that is first, let's talk about the status of the patches in the uh, in the open alpha of the 4.2 branch, and then I have to uh, announce for those of you who haven't seen it yet a community event, a massive one with big prizes to win. It's a community challenge with races going on, and it is going to be fantastic. So, hang in there. But first of all, let's talk about what has been going on in development. This time around, I won't be going into uh, uh, any deeper depths of campaign play and analysis, but rather just mention that we have been polishing away at the campaign, solved a lot of issues that have been popping up, and there is a patch coming very soon for that one, probably in the next day or so? Maybe, yeah, probably this week. Um, so that is all looking uh, very nice, and I think that gets us into a spot which allows us to continue on and focus on getting the uh, engine calculations done, uh, the new ones. The nerdy ones that you have all been seeing in these little dev updates in recent times. And this is the version that I'm currently playing. It's a different branch. And uh, now I just need to remember which of these actually was the correct one. So the last status was that we were going to focus on mostly campaign stuff. And then after that is done, get the engine calculations into the game. In my prototype, which I've been showing you, those calculations already were working but now we have them mostly if not all working um, in the game as they are in the prototype still some debugging to do and so on but the, in general it is there what are those new calculations you ask well completely new na calculations for all the engines and that also influences, of course, the turbocharged engines, because they use the NA engines as a basis. In order to do pr appropriate debugging and such, we uh, also have transported all the new 2D maps into the game and visualized those. For instance, the fuel map. Um, so you can see your lambda values for all the different throttle settings and RPMs, and you can tune the map with just the single slider. User-friendly, yes, but also very nerdy. So that's good stuff. Um, the new mechanics are in here for the system sizing and the the margin and timing. And here you can... Uh, go, go away. Uh, go, go away. No, it still has the old fuel <laughs> tooltip there. It's getting in the way. Um, so yes, you can um, you can change the, uh, the margin and timing and you see and it's all reacting in real time, which is really nice to see. Much better than my prototype, which is dog slow. Well, well dogs are pretty fast, actually. But um, yes, so um, that is all hooked up and working, as is system size, which you can't really see right now in the stats, I assume. Um, but what more do we have? Fuel efficiency map. Um, you see that live updating as well. And this is a turbocharged engine. That's where you see that yeah, the... the, the the main green blob here is right there where it gets into boost. That's exactly what you would expect. These calculations are all in. As you also can see, it is not finished yet, but we are on a very good way of getting it there very soon. So to summarize, this week you will see a um, kind of, in air quotes, final patch for the campaign, after which we will, of course, continue to um, fix up campaign issues as they come up, but also we are going to more focus on getting the engine calculations all wrapped up and into the game, into your hands. That will be a big new update and because there's so many changes. Like, think, think of it as we have just rewritten the entire engine code. Oh, that is reminding me actually. Um, we have also made it such that it's rewritten in C++ instead of uh, the calculations being partly in Lua and other parts in C++. They, we are moving, migrating them over to all be in C++ to get some, squeeze out a little bit more performance. Because they are getting a little heavy now that we are calculating 100 engine runs uh, for each engine run. And if you forgot why that is, well, we have now 
100 throttle points that we are simulating. Like 0.01 throttle, run the engine calculations. 0.02 throttle, run the engine calculations. And it's doing that until it hits full throttle. But anyway, but now let's talk about what I've been hyping up here as the event. It is the 2022 Camshaft Software Crossover Play Competition. It's a big community event that is here to celebrate the brand new game world that we have in automation. And, uh, of course, there are plenty of locations that this event is going to visit. What better place to start at, at the, than the automation test track? Then we are traveling all the way to the Great Plains near Ellisbury and the infamous Tri-Oval and uh, have an event on the road course there. Then south to the mountains of Hedvesia. In the heart of the Hedvesia mountains there is a famous hill climb with slopes up to 30%, um, giving, giving cars a bit of a hard, hard time. Then uh, the, the Hedvesian Technical Certification Authority will check through your cars for safety, comfort and reliability. Then we are off to the mountains near Monteviers in Fruinia for a proper three-stage rally. From there we continue to the heart of Achana and some of its um, major agricultural places south of Kronograd. And that too will be a, a, well, a little bit of a faster rally because it is on um, highways um, and a smaller, smaller country road track. And then we're going to quickly analyze your fuel efficiency before we finish off on the salt flats of Delua with some proper acceleration and r land speed record course run. To finish it all off, your car that you have submitted to this challenge will be evaluated by all other contestants and the community as a whole, I believe. There are a total of 750 US dollars worth of prizes to win. First place can choose to either get a unique one-off big print of the world map, which will look stunning, or of their winning car. Second and third get Steam gift cards as well as a choice of camshaft apparel. And then the rest of the top 10 does get Steam gift cards. You submit a single car that is going to compete in all those challenges and 75% of the total score pool comes from these nine separate automation events that all take place in this world for this challenge. But wait! There is another game that uses the same locations and the same roads for its racing. And that is our other game, The Cyclist Tactics, which plays out in the same universe as Automation. And for this challenge we have created a special free demo of the just released big update for the game, the version 1.2. And this special demo includes six different events that are made specifically for the crossover play competition. And that is where the remaining 25% of your score will come from. Those challenges are all time trial based and mostly consist of several short stages for each event. While the goals are to get the fastest times possible, the way to achieve that requires careful resource management and planning, just like with your automation car. And of course, the demo also contains all tutorials as well, so that you have a fighting chance against the elite of the cyclist tactics. Oh yes, and um, I'll be participating too. And while I won't be allowed to win anything, um, you will be able to say, I beat Killrop at his own fucking games. Of course, there is a lot more information on all of this in the official challenge announcement, which I have linked in the description below. The submission deadline is the 20th of July, so you still got plenty of time to prepare. And I truly hope to see as many of you as possible partake in this challenge. It will be great fun. And that will be all for now. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.